uh, welcome to e sectiona uh, i will continue the uh, fourth module okay dear students uh, i stop uh, this one uh, treatment of uh, biomedical waste uh, last class okay uh, now we will start one by one thermal uh, process treatment okay uh, first one first i will start the chemical from the chemical we will start one by one thermal chemical Uh, and everything okay this process used to chemical that uh, act as a disinfectant uh, 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 sodium hydrochloride uh, uh, dissolved chlorine dioxide acetic acid hydrogen peroxide nitrogen uh, inorganic chemical and ozone are the chemical used for disinfectant okay uh, and uh, most of the chemical process uh, water intensive and uh, requires uh, Uh, neutralizing agents okay uh, these are the chemicals we are using for uh, disinfectant okay chlorine dioxide acetic acid okay and uh, peroxide uh, dry uh, inorganic chemicals and ozone these are the chemical we are using for the treatment uh, by chemical process okay uh, uh, are, these are the chemicals we are used for the treatment uh, chemical process for a biomedical waste okay we go for uh, this uh, this is the uh, instrument uh, for uh, using for chemical uh, treatment of the biomedical waste uh, this is the instrument we are using the chemical uh, the uh, this uh, treatment is done uh, biomedical waste okay this is the process you can see the this one this is in the, this is the modern technology for the treatment of the biomedical waste then we go for the next uh, thermal okay uh, first for thermal thermal in this low heat system about uh, 93 to 77 degree that is called autoclaving use streams hot water and electromagnetic radiation and heat okay discontamin uh, decontaminates the waste okay autoclave and microwave are low heat system okay it is a low heat system about 93 to 7 177 degree celsius autoclaving is low heat thermal process and it used the stream for uh, disinfection of the water okay autoclaves are uh, two types depending on the methods they used to remove the air pockets uh, they are the gravity flow autoclaves and vacuum autoclaves gravity flow autoclave and vacuum autoclave two types of autoclave okay it is a low heat okay thermal process treatment by the low heat okay 170 uh, 93 degree to uh, 173 uh, by the use of streams uh, uh, steam and uh, use of hot water or electromagnetic radiation okay this is a low heat system this is the thermal process okay another one we get, we will see microwave is a process in which uh, disinfect the waste by the moist heat and steam generated on microwave energy okay microwaving is the process which disinfect the waste by moist heat and steam generated microwave energy high heat system employs combustion high temperature plasma to the okay decontaminate and destroy the waste okay insulation hydroclaving are the okay high heat system okay autoclaving is the low heat system this is the high heat system okay high heat system insulator and hydroclaving insulator about 1000 degree for, uh, uh, degree celsius to 1800 degree i will show in the next slide okay hydroclaving also there is a high heat system microwaving are the low heat system see see here this is the uh, okay uh, insulation is the burning it is about 1000 degree 1800 degree celsius more than that okay more than 1800 degree celsius heating and from that we are producing the energy okay turbine will run for the streams okay turbine will run see here we are uh, this is the medical waste okay we will dump the medical waste here from the crane this one okay they will take the waste and move to the okay 
belt. From the belt, here it will burn. Okay, here is the insulator. It will burn about 1500 to 1800 degrees Celsius. Steam will be developed. Okay, this stream moves to here. Okay, here turbine will run due to the force of the streams and power is generated. Okay, power is generated. This is the process of insulation high heat system. Here ash will fall down due to the heat. Okay, due to the 1500 to 1800 degrees Celsius heat, some ash will be developed. It is removed and the power is generated due to the this one. Okay, high heat uh, temperature. Okay, high uh, temperature. Okay, stream. Okay, this is the process of uh, insulation. Okay, there are two types. Low heat is the microwave uh, method. It is uh, 177, maximum 177 degrees Celsius. High heat, it is uh, insulation about more than 1800 degrees Celsius. You can see this, okay. This is the uh, uh, vehicle of the biomedical waste. It will dump the waste here, biomedical waste. It is taken to here and the heat temperature is burning temperature is 1800 degrees Celsius and it moves to the boiler okay and turbine will run and power will be generated this power is used okay this is the uh, thermal process of uh, chemical this one uh, treatment biomedical treatment okay next uh, we go for uh, this one mechanical treatment okay mechanical process of treatment in that compaction okay major compaction okay major compaction used to reduce the volume of the waste okay and shredding or cutting the waste destroy the plastic and paper waste prevent their reuse only disinfected waste can be used for in the shredders see compaction and cutting shredding okay and uh, uh, used to destroy the plastic and uh, paper waste prevent the reuse it should not be reused this medical waste should not be reused okay and uh, compacted okay it is compacted with the mechanical device okay only disinfected waste can be used for in a shredder very important only disinfected waste can be used in a shredder okay this is the process of mechanical compaction and shreddings okay and uh, cutting the waste and compacting the this one you can see here the different types of uh, compaction and shredding it made a mechanical uh, process okay these are the machineries we are using for compaction and shreddings okay only disinfected waste used for shredding and compaction is done for plastic and uh, this one the compaction is done this is the mechanical process next last process we go for the uh, uh, last but one irradiation process okay irradiation process is the waste exposed to ultraviolet or ionizing radiation in an enclosed chamber this system required the post shreddings to render the waste okay unrecognizable okay this is uh, we are using the this one exposed to ultraviolet rays or ionizing radiation in a enclosed chamber this is very important radiation process okay irradiation process is the process waste are exposed to ultraviolet or ionizing radiation in an enclosed chamber in an enclosed chamber okay in an enclosed chamber okay in this system in an enclosed chamber this is the irradiation process okay and close the ultraviolet ray and enclose this system to render okay the waste okay unrecognizable okay then okay this is the process of irradiation okay this is uh, ultraviolet rays exposed to ultraviolet rays or ionizing the waste okay this is the process this are the three chambers okay this uh, like uh, this one this in this we are using okay three uh, part okay in this we are using okay ultraviolet or ionizing radiation in an enclosed chamber this is the chamber 
three chamber okay we are an enclosed chamber we are using the okay waste okay this is the process of a uh, irradiation process these are the chamber the enclosed chamber an ultraviolet ray or uh, uh, ionizing system is done last one is the biological process here here biological enzymes are used okay biological enzymes are used for treating the medical waste biological enzymes are used to treating the medical waste this is very very important biological process biological enzymes it is claimed that uh, biological reaction will not only dis decontaminated the waste but also causes destruction of all the organic constituent uh, so that only plastic gloves and other inert will be remain the residue okay here biological enzymes are used for treating the medical waste that is called biological process it is claimed that biological reaction will not only decontaminate okay the waste but also causes the destruction of all the organic constituents uh, so that only plastic glass and other inert will be remain in the residue okay this is the process of a biological waste uh, biological enzymes are used for treating the medical waste okay the the it is claimed i have already told this uh, uh, glass uh, plastic uh, other inert will be remained as a residue in the biological process okay you can see the biological process medical waste disposal is a collection and segregation okay sorting is done and uh, medical waste treatment is done okay and uh, this is uh, uh, enzymes are used for the this one okay enzymes biological enzymes are used okay this is the process okay now we go for uh, one by one uh, that is uh, uh, okay uh, this disposal of uh, biomedical waste we are completed uh, uh, treatment treatment of the biomedical waste we have completed till uh, here this was the treatment okay till biological over a uh, treatment and uh, irradiation over okay here one treatment i explained and uh, i explained the uh, mechanical process i explained uh, uh, thermal okay thermal and chemical okay thermal and chemical okay all this process i have explained the treatment okay treatment process thermal over okay and uh, chemical over irradiation over and biological over i completed this one okay now we go for the disposal how we can dispose the uh, this, uh, this one uh, uh, biomedical waste how we can dispose the biomedical waste is the important okay like uh, solid waste we cannot dispose the okay biomedical waste lot of uh, uh, effort uh, is there for uh, disposing to uh, for the biomedical waste management okay first stage is the collecting and segregation and sorting and uh, sorting and transportation and mechanical waste treatment these are the three process okay this is the disposal one of the process first process is uh, you have my uh, this see your biomedical waste disposal team is given task to safety and effectively removing the waste from the environment very important biomedical waste team is a separate team it is not a municipality waste management team or solid waste management team it is the one of the team they have the task of safety and effectively removing the waste from the environment from the environment okay from the environment there that is the challenge of process okay it otherwise it will affect the environment it causes diseases okay so it is the danger uh, pathogenic uh, diseases and uh, okay uh, so there is the, they have the task okay of safety and effectively uh, okay waste disposal 
Uh, okay. When it comes to medical supplier, okay, because some waste can be contaminated with the diseases, okay, or dangerous pathogen. Okay, this is very very important. They may cause us uh, diseases, waste. Okay, it contain organic uh, substance, blood or some this virus, some uh, body part, some uh, dead body parts, and everything is there. They will cause us uh, diseases and danger pathogenic in the this one. Okay, biomedical this one. So there is an important uh, uh, task for the team disposal uh, biomedical waste to uh, given task of safety and effectively they have to dispose the waste. Some of the waste they may cause us diseases because they may cause diseases like pathogenic diseases. All biomedical waste are not disposed in the same way. There are different disposal company follows different methods. Okay, all biomedical waste not disposed in the same way. Different disposal companies follow the different method. Okay, safety method. Okay, they have different methods. See one by one. Autoclaving is one of the disposal method. It's uh, autoclaving. Already I explained. Okay, this process of autoclaving inward uh, involves uh, stream uh, sterilization. Okay, instead of uh, insulation, which can be expensive, autoclaving simple introduce the very hot stream for the determined amount of time. Okay, autoclaving is a low heat system. Already I explained in a treatment also for disposal method. They are uh, using this and. Uh, uh, involves stream sterilization okay stream sterilization in this okay and uh, instead of insulation which can be expensive autoclaving okay autoclaving is simple introduce very hot stream for determine the amount of time okay at the end of the process microorganisms have been completely destroyed in this end of the process microorganism have completely destroyed very important the process of uh, particularly uh, particularly effective because it cost very much less than the other method it is a uh, very effective because cost is very less than the other method autoclaving is very effective because cost is less than other method okay this method is okay uh, less cost than other method and does not prevent any health risk in this who are working there or it uh, does not present okay any health risk for others health risk to others while some of the biomedical waste not able to dispose via autoclaving around 90 percent of material are sterilized this way before sent to the landfill okay very important this is very important okay autoclaving before disposing uh, this is the method autoclaving is a steam sterilization what i told uh, instead of uh, uh, insulation it is uh, insulation is very expensive okay autoclaving is simple uh, method it's a cheap method okay uh, economical okay uh, determine the amount of time uh, at the end of the process, micro will be completely destroyed. It uh, destroy. It will not uh, uh, present any personal health risk. Okay, uh, by autoclaving, 90% of the is okay. Uh, materials are sterilized way before being sent to landfill. This is uh, one of the uh, disposal method. Okay, this is the you can see the autoclaving. Here is the equipment autoclaving is the stream sterilization method autoclaving okay about 170 degree 77 degree heat okay as a steam sterilization method you can see the autoclaving machine okay in this steam sterilization is done okay see after uh, if it not possible by the uh, insulation uh, this autoclaving so another method is major benefits uh, insulation that is quick and easy simple okay cost wise this is high 
so uh, but it is quick okay easy and simple method of uh, disposal okay it effectively remove the waste entirely and safely remove the microorganism very important uh, yeah, waste entirely it removes and uh, removes the microorganism okay however when burning hazardous waste material the emission of the particularly dangerous some status prefer the waste disposal companies look toward the incineration as the first choice but the material must be reviewed and determined as safe to burn okay this is the incineration okay very simple and quick method effectively remove the waste entirely remove the microorganism however when a burning hazardous waste emission can particularly dangerous some state states prefer the waste disposal company look toward the incineration for first choice okay because it's a easy quick and simple method but costly okay so some are going for autoclaving but material must be reviewed and determined safe to burn this is the incineration you can see different types of uh, incineration see this is a burning process of incineration uh, this uh, some uh, uh, biomedical waste people they will put the uh, waste to the this one it is a burns about 1800 degree celsius uh, it all the ashes will come down okay this is a quick fast and effective method okay quick fast and effective method okay in this this is the, so uh, so many companies prefer this okay we have the financial strong they will prefer this one for disposal okay and chemical uh, what i told another one uh, disposal method comes to the liquid waste uh, of the this one a common biomedical waste method can be can uh, chemical disinfection chlorine is a regular choice process and it is introduced okay liquid waste in order to kill the microorganism pathogenic some chemicals we are using okay biomedical waste disposal method can be chemical disinfection okay uh, chlorine is a regular choice of process and introduce the way, uh, liquid waste in order to kill the if we are using the chlorine you know microorganism pathogen pathogenic okay chemical disposal can also use solid waste but it is recommended that okay grinded first to ensure the uh, uh, maximum uh, uh, decontaminate contamination liquid waste one decontaminate then dispose to the sewer system okay this is also one of the very very important biomedical waste we are using the for the liquid waste we are using the chlorine okay to kill the pathogenic and uh, it is grinded okay they are grinded first ensure that maximum uh, decontamination liquid waste one decontaminated uh, then it disposed to the sewer system this is the process okay chlorine we are using the major for the chemical uh, disposal method okay this has a chemical uh, disposing method we are using for the chemical we are chlorine we are using see uh, genotic uh, waste okay uh, geo no toxic waste okay waste containing uh, uh, crypto toxic uh, drugs often used for cancer therapy okay liquid waste okay geno toxic uh, chemicals okay and chemical waste are lab reagent film developer expired, uh, expired uh, disinfection or okay expired uh, solvent okay waste with the high content of the heavy metal waste with the high content of heavy metal batteries broken thermometer blood pressure gauge okay they have the liquid waste this chlorine is used for uh, major uh, this one for the removal of the disinfection okay this is the process okay chemical waste this you can see broken mercury thermometer and everything liquid waste some of the liquid waste you can see 
liquid uh, biomedical waste it can be removed. This uh, microwaving, uh, this is uh, one of the okay, microwaving process during the process, this is the disposal method, uh, waste are shredded, mixed to water and then internally heated to kill the micro other harmful element okay, in this and uh, one uh, the main benefit of this process is shreddings, okay, the lower the volume of the biomedical waste reported more energy efficient use the method of uh, incinerate okay while it cannot be used all biomedical waste it can be used like for the good for 90% just like uh, auto cleaning okay this is the another method of disposal during this process waste are shredded cutted mixed with the water then internally heated to kill the microorganism and harmful elements okay microorganism harmful element. One main benefit of this process is shredding as well, lower the volume of biomedical waste, okay. We are cutting the waste, okay, lower the biomedical waste, uh, this one, volume of the biomedical waste and reportedly more energy efficient used to method of insulate, okay. While it can be, we, uh, while it cannot be used for biomedical waste, it can be utilized for good 90 percent just like autoclave. Okay, this is the method of microwaving disposal. Okay, it cutting and mixed with the water. Okay, it also lower the volume. Okay, it kills the microorganism harmful element. Okay, this is the one of the autoclaving, auto uh, microwaving mixed with the water, uh, shredded waste and mixed with the water then internally heated to kill the microorganism other harmful element in uh, the main uh, benefits of this process is shredding is lower the volume of biomedical waste okay lower the volume of the biomedical waste this is the method okay microwaving this is the method of the microwaving is cut the waste and uh, this is the use one okay Threading, uh, this threading and cut the waste uh, mixed with the water, then we will lower the volume and burning. Okay, uh, we completed uh, biomedical waste already. I shown this uh, videos uh, last class. Okay, biomedical waste video. Okay, we completed biomedical waste. Uh, what are the sources of the biomedical waste? Okay, what are the sources uh, which are hospital uh, and uh, uh, this one, uh, yeah, all clinics, dental, uh, all um, mortuaries, and so many uh, clinics, uh, lab, laboratory, so many other sources. What are the types of the waste? Also, I told. What are the types? What are the types of the container used? Different, different colors, containers. Okay, different, different color containers we are using. Okay, uh, we are, that waste should be put in that container only. It is collected in a safety way, okay, and it is uh, treated, okay, treated in different ways. What I told, okay, chemical and uh, biological treatment, okay, uh, thermal treatment, chemical treatment in uh, different ways, okay, and uh, this one, uh, and also disposing is also one of the important method. Uh, it is uh, we have to take care while disposing. It should not uh, affect the human being or it should not affect the groundwater. Okay, groundwater, uh, it should not contaminate the groundwater also. Okay, and this is the process is a very, very important process. Okay, in this uh, biomedical, we have to take care this biomedical waste. It has contain lot of microbes and uh, uh, pathogenic bacteria. It causes diseases, major diseases. Okay, it causes this all the hospital, we know we are going to hospital if you have the disease, okay, if it, uh, it is waste, if we, uh, if we do not maintain properly, okay, we will get the disease all public. So, it is very, very important biomedical waste management and uh, we have to take care and we have to do effectively, okay. Then we go for next, uh, this one is sources of e-waste 
we all know e waste electronic waste another one threat okay electronic waste is another uh, problem sources what are the sources from house pc television radio cell phone washing machine microwaves okay cd player fans electrical iron okay this is from the houses we will get the sources of waste from the houses okay pc computer television radio in the houses we have using the radios we are using the cell phones we are using the washing machine we are using the microwave oven okay cd players fans electric and lot of things we are using in houses the waste of that is the e waste okay if the pc is spoil or televisions uh, fire, uh, spoil radio spoil or cell phone these are the waste in the houses e waste in the houses okay very very important another one hospital e waste okay here also pc okay uh, and um, uh, monitors ecg device microscope okay incubator these are the hospital waste okay hospital in the hospital we have pc is there monitor is there ecg device is there microscope is there incubator okay these are the hospital e waste okay and government office government office or private sector government office there are also pc okay fax machine is there xerox machine waste okay scanner waste if it spoil fan okay tube lights and air condition this is a government office we will get the e waste like uh, pc fax material uh, xerox uh, this one uh, machines scanners fan tube light and air conditions okay in the private sector in private sector see we can see pc everywhere it is there uh, boilers mixers okay mixer mixer okay restaurant like a uh, restaurant uh, we will have okay signals generator okay incubator everything is there in the private sector also these are the main sources of e waste okay electronic waste where it uh, comes from the houses pc television radio cell phone washing machine microwave cd fan, player fan etc it is shown in this one hospital pc monitor ecg device uh, incubator in a government sector pc fax machine xerox machine scanner fan tube light air condition in the private sector it is a pc boiler mixture signal uh, generator and incubator okay these are the sources of e waste see you can see the drawing uh, figure in the figure we can see different uh, sources okay it may be pc it may be all air condition all the wastes uh, this is the e waste okay this is very very dangerous if it enters to the soil it contain lot of chemicals and uh, everything so this uh, collection and uh, transportation and uh, say get this one disposal is uh, very very important e waste management is very very important you can see the different types of e waste dumped okay this one important is in a cell phone and some that gold is available so people are uh, are very interested to uh, this one and uh, in a computer uh, there are lot of uh, very important materials are available so they so many people are working see the computer in a computer a old computer is dump as shown here different types of pcs okay different uh, monitors okay are dumped here you can see that okay different monitors and different okay now next we go for uh, see here, here also you can see lot of mobile phones uh, printers calculators okay wires 
uh, in the uh, uh, all this we can monitors okay uh, keypad a lot of uh, clocks everything you can see in the e waste uh, dumping here uh, disposal see here very very important okay segregation and uh, this thing is major important in this okay and now we go for uh, see collection of e waste they are this collection of the e waste very important different different boxes are done here e waste are okay a uh, collected okay one wires one uh, this one monitors one different different boxes you can see one two three see see the boxes different different boxes we can collect the e waste okay say e waste collection uh, computer in one this one monitor okay it may be wires okay it may be uh, so many things a fridge item refrigerator item one thing all these are collection this is the method of collection see how e waste is collected as shown okay how e waste is collected as shown okay here you can see the collection see the here how they are uh, collecting the e waste some of the companies see what are the material should be dumped here they have shown here what are the material three this one e waste uh, storing okay it is collection of the e waste okay collection of the e waste this is very very important okay collection of the e waste this one uh, this one okay and this one this one three uh, different different three uh, they have shown uh, which are the e waste should be put here where which are the e waste which are the e waste uh, that is a uh, different different in a big company software company or in the hospital or anywhere e waste uh, management uh, team is there they will uh, manage the e waste okay manage the e waste in different electronic waste different different okay treatment of the e waste collection over okay now treatment of the e waste first one is the land filling okay first one is the land filling the this is the most common method of uh, electronic waste disposal okay land filling is the most common method of uh, electronic waste disposal incineration okay another one the controlled combustion process of e waste about uh, uh, 9000 degree to 10000 degree celsius okay and recycling next one is the recycling another process okay three types of treatment process three type of treatment process one is the land filling the most common method of electron uh, device disposal land filling okay land filling is the this is the most common this one incineration okay incineration the controlled combustion process within the e waste is burnt in a incinerator under 900 degree celsius to 10000 degree celsius okay this is the incineration okay third one is the recycling recycling is a three process of uh, treatment of the e waste okay three process of, okay first one in land filling is commonly used the most common use of electronic waste disposal incineration is burning okay waste second process and recycling commonly using everyone use this method okay major recycling we are doing the recycling method okay now we go for uh, see here uh, how the land filling is done okay waste are uh, dumped in one area okay which uh, uh, here e waste is uh, dumped in the land filling okay e waste is dumped in the land filling you can see the drawing different types of e waste are uh, dumped okay in a landfill okay land filling we are uh, disposed uh, okay waste e waste okay land filling okay different types of uh, waste land filling okay in this uh, method uh, we are all the waste uh, which uh, should not be affect the environment and it should not be complete the air pollution or anything properly e waste is disposed okay 
properly e waste is disposed okay thank you i will continue in next class